Hello, I am Trey Ratcliffe, and I want to talk to you about the power of a single raw photo with the new Aurora HDR 2018. You know, it's kind of a, a common knowledge amongst HDR photographers that you need to have multiple photos or brackets in order to make a good HDR photo. Well, that's just not the case with the new Aurora. A single raw photo can be amazing. You know, a lot of times you're out shooting and there's moving subject matter and you only have a single raw. Or maybe you have a ton of old photos in your library that are single raw photos. Well, this will give you a chance to breathe new life into them. Okay, so we'll head back to my studio. I'll show you how easy and how fun it is. Not only that, but you're gonna see how much more powerful Aurora HDR is to edit your single raw photos rather than using just Lightroom or just Photoshop. Hello and welcome to this fun demo. I'm going to show you the immense power of a single raw file. Um, I would say that of all the photos I've processed so far with Aurora HDR 2018, that probably half have been single raw files and the results have just been amazing, really amazing. And I think I'm going to adjust the way I take photos in the future where I don't take bracketed photos so much, but I take more single raw photos because it's very fast. Let me start by showing you a quick before and after, and then we'll start one from scratch. Okay, this is the after. Uh, this is a, a fisherman in uh, Guilin. Um, they use these Coromont birds here to, uh, to dive into the water, put a, put a ring around their neck so they can't swallow the big fish. And they pull out the, the fish, and they drop in that basket right there. Okay, here's the before. This is what came right out of the camera. And then it got into this, which I feel like has a lot more emotion. The color is more vibrant. Um, this is what I like to do. I like to bring um, color and emotion back into the photo because so oftentimes, like a raw photo, is just sort of flatly lit, right? It's flatly lit on purpose, okay? So that you can go pull in and out the lights and darks and the colors. Um, anyone that shoots video will also know this. Uh, if you shoot uh, video the right way, most people shoot in a very flat way. So initially the video looks very dull and like not very engaging because you're meant to go in and do some color toning, um, you know, do saturation, do lights and darks, this sort of thing. Same way with a raw photo. I think there's a lot of photographers out there that'll make you feel like you've got to get it right in camera, otherwise you're not a real photographer. Don't listen to those people, okay? A camera, a camera shot is meant to be manipulated and played with and toyed with, right? And you can, this is how you make the photo quintessentially your own by putting your own imprimatur on it with post-processing and Aurora HDR 2018 is a great tool for that. Okay, so let's work on another one here. Uh, let's go over here into Bridge and I'm gonna pull in um, this, this shot right here, okay? Um, and I will turn on tone mapping. You'll notice that when you bring in a single raw photo, um, you have this option to turn on tone mapping, which yes, you want. Um, and sometimes I do turn on color denoise as well. All right. So let me pull up the original shot here and talk about it. Um, so this is kind of an interesting photo in a way, I guess. Maybe I'm adding too many complexities into one demo. Um, but uh, this is taken in Monte Carlo, and this is actually two photos uh, vertically stacked, right? Because my, my camera wasn't uh, wide enough to get all this. So I took a shot, a single shot down below, a single shot up above, and then I merged them into a panorama, okay? And so now I'm bringing that panorama, which is still considered a raw file, even after they're stitched together in Lightroom, I'm bringing that panorama here into Aurora, okay? All right, and here we are. Uh, sorry, I pushed that mic out of the way. So it was a little big before. Sorry about that. Hey, you get what you pay for in this free tip video. Um, so you can see there's already been adjustments made even before I've clicked on a single thing. Uh, so if I look at the before and after, before and after, very nice. Now we will go through some of these panels and have some fun under the hood with this one. But remember, you can always go to these presets and these are very powerful. Like for example, I click on architecture bright. It's even an architecture photo. It's more of a landscape photo. So we go pick, uh, you can go very realistic. I can pick some of these realistic HDRs, right? Um, I can go into the landscape category, pick some of those. Um, by the way, this is a pre-release version that I am using. Um, and soon you actually at launch, you'll be able to go click on get more and get my presets. There's, I'm going to have one volume of about 12 or 13 that ships with it, but I'm going to have volume two, which is going to have over 20. 
uh, which I invite you to get as well. I think you'll enjoy them. Okay, so let me get rid of the presets and let's start over from scratch. Okay, so I'm gonna click this thing. And I'm gonna say reset all filters. Okay. Um, if I wanted to do some lens corrections, I could click on either one of these and make these adjustments, right? Which is pretty handy. Click here and I could adjust the distortion, so on and so forth. Uh, that's one of the nice new features. Another nice new feature is this uh, history panel. So you can do non-destructive editing. Uh, but here we'll try to do everything with just one layer. You can do multiple layers, diff do different effects in different areas, but we'll just do it with one here. So this is HDR Enhance. This is a new slider, uh, which I quite like. It, you can see it makes it quite HDR-ish, but it doesn't kind of go too much over the top. Okay, we'll do a little bit of smart tone here, and that brings up some of the dark bits. Nice. Uh, add a little bit more vibrance, just a little bit. HDR structure is a nice area to really give it that HDR look. You may not want to do too much, all right? I'll just do a little bit here. Um, I'm just showing you what too much it's like. So let me, let me reset this one by clicking this. Do a little bit of HDR structure, a little bit of softness here. Um, no real need for denoise, but this would really, if you look at the sky when you do this, it really makes the sky super smooth, right? If you have any kind of, sometimes it's kind of nice on the water too. If you look at the water before and after, the smooth water is actually pretty nice. I'm not gonna do it here, but you may wish to make your own, um, your own layer, right? Another layer where you smooth out the water. Image radiance gives it that nice kind of glowy glow and the glow face. Kind of nice. Like that. Um, let me end this little thing by talking about HDR details boost. Okay. So let's uh, zoom in here to uh, 200%. Let's go down by all these nice little buildings down here where all these uber wealthy people just kind of stick their yachts there all year long. And here let's play with HDR details boost. So you can think of this like sharpness, really. So as I pull these things up, it gets sharper and sharper. It's a little bit like an uh, unsharp mask. If you look at before and after, just look how all those details just pop out. Incredible, eh? I kind of went a little extreme with this one, right? Just for the sake of a demo. But you can see what the sharpness has done there. Really, really nice. Okay. All right, so in almost no time, we had a fun little experience here with this photo. I think it turned out pretty cool. Let's look at uh, before and after, before and after. And of course, this thing is a little thing where you slide back and forth. Yeah, to me, it's just much more alive and interesting, and uh, it feels more like it did uh, when it was there. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this little uh, demo. Uh, don't forget, you can go back and use all your RAW files, everything you've taken your entire life. Uh, it also works with JPEGs, by the way. It works a little better with RAW files. Uh, but I hope this gives you some inspiration to go back and uh, redo some of your older shots or like get excited about taking new RAW photos uh, whenever you uh, go out there on your little photographic creative missions. All right, thank you guys. Love you very much, and I will see you next time.